Hey guys, hey Destruction here. Welcome back to another vi tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you how to create your own Super Soul using a Super Soul editor. Okay, first thing I want you to do is you can go on Google, type in Super Soul Editor XV2 Mod, right? You can just search that and it'll be the first link. It will be on the Xenoverse 2 Mods website. And all you do is download it. And there you go. And then you're going to get like that. So what I'll do is I'll just close. I already have mine open. I'll close mine. Let's, sorry. Close, yes. Okay, I'm just going to remove that just for the video's sake. And what you do is, once you've got this, you have to extract it. So make sure you extract it any way you want, really. Desktop is the best. You extract it. Yeah, well, I'll replace that, whatever. You close it. Okay. Now you've done that. You open it. It's going to ask that, because Windows doesn't recognize the AXE, it's all told fine. Don't worry about it, it's no viruses or anything. Then it's going to ask you a game direct directory. So all you need to do is find your game directory. If you've got it in Steam, it will be like this. Steam apps, common, and you'll see the universe 2. Okay, done. And you'll know it works because it'll bring up one of the super souls within the game. And this is the list of all the super souls within the game. Now, if you want to create your own one from scratch, you go super soul options, create new super soul, and it'll say new entry. And all you do is type what you want to call it. And here you put the description. You can call it whatever you want. It will ask you about your limit burst description, what you want the limit burst description to say when you see it in the game. You can put whatever you want. And then in battle, it will say limit burst description. This will show you the description within the battle. Here again, you put whatever you want. Sorry for the spelling, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, now you see you've done you've done this. Here you can change your limit burst settings. Like you know, when you use it, you could have a red, blue, green, and purple, or whatever you want. So you just put red. I'll just put red. And over here is going to ask key black. You, all you need to do is click on that. You can put, you can put whatever you want really, but I recommend you put power, the default. And then here you put the price. You can make it as cheap as you want, just make it 100 and you can sell it, let's say you sell it for 100 and it costs 1 TP metal. Also here, the store options, it says stars, so you can rate your own Super Soul, what, what level do you want it to be? Do you want it to be like an OP one or just an intermediate, a, a crappy one, your choice really. I always do 5 stars just so, you know, it's easier to find. Then you go to basic details and this is where it gets important. Make sure that's set to self. So that it affects you and here it says effect to use so here you can you can say nullify damage restore restore and drain health activates stamina auto recovery and so on there's loads of options you can play around with these just don't use the ones that say unknown or the ones that don't look like they have anything like these question marks don't use them okay the stats based here you can just go mad with it the, and also, it says activation method. You could have always, which means it will activate as soon as you start fighting. Or you could have it when you KO someone. Or you could have it, let's say, awoken skill used. Let's use this for example. I'm choosing awoken skill used. Then you go maximum health. You can make that, don't make it like a hundred or something because you just never die. I've, I've found that the best is, let's say, 15, between 15 and... 20 don't go any more than that max stamina you can make that five if you want it op max key five if you want a p don't don't mess with that doesn't matter air speed that's how fast you'll move you can just if you want a little bit faster than the base game you can just make that one ground speed you can make that one boost speed you can make that one don't change anything else okay dash speed you can change that as well to one Basic melee damage. That's just your normal punches, what you will do in your moveset. So, uh, let's make that two. 
and then strike skill damage taken it's not it's not something you mess around with either because that's how much when they use a skill how much damage you can take from that strike skill damage is your is your moves your strike your strike moves not your move sets so you can change that let's say always make it stronger than your basic melee damage because it makes sense i make that three okay then you have basic key blast damage you guys know this when you when you tap these little key blasts you can do you can make that two or you can make that one to your choice and then it will say where is it Sorry, i'm just looking for it guys where is it oh key skill damage and that's all your skills that are key blast blasts you can make that three and i'll make it just lines it up with the strike skill damage as well okay you'll see the basic details i've got yeah you you don't have to change it here all of them because this is going to be stats base and that's okay let's put that as always just so just so that it, I can show you it works straight away. If you put it on always, this is just basically your skills, what the stats will be and all that stuff. So keep that as is. The effects, this is where you can you can add you can add multiple effects. So you can effect one and effect two. Effect one, remember it needs to say self. If you want it to apply to you, you can also make it apply to everyone, your enemies or whatever. You can basically make them weaker as you fight them. Okay, let's say I'm gonna have no key depletion, which means my key will never run out. And it says method of activation. You can put always if you want to, or you can have awoken skill used. Let's have awoken skill used for this one. And effects two, make sure it says self. Choose the effect you want. Let's have super armor basic. That means they can't do any damage. You can just stand still. Kind of. You kind of have God mode, but remember, you still lose health. So even if you have that, you're still losing health. You're just not reacting to the hits that's on you. Let's say of this as a welcome skill used as well. So when I transform, I hardly do any damage to me. Okay, you see there now, everything's done. That's pretty much it, guys. That's It's not really that hard to do this. It's actually pretty simple. As you can see, it's all... It's all good here, yeah, it's all good. So what you do is then you go Super Soul Options. You export the Super Soul package file SSP. Make sure you do this one. Or you could add this current Super Soul to the shop. I recommend you do this because then it goes straight into your um, equipment. So you don't have to worry about going to the shop and buying it. And, but you can do that if you want to and it will be the price you've set and all that. So let's say export package. And you see all this stuff. All you do is you go to an empty one, just click on that, and you click export. And it's gonna ask you where do you want to drop it. Just drop in the desktop. You obviously you name it. Okay, Super Soul success successfully exported. Right. Now you can close this and it should in theory. Okay, actually. Don't not save this. Just go file, save. Okay, and then you'll see it'll, it has saved. And then when you go like to randomly there and you're like, oh, you want to get back to it, you go, it's my super soul. And it'll bring it up again. And you'll see all the stats are still the way I, I put it, all that good stuff. Close that. Always just make sure you save before before you close it. You don't want to make any mistakes. And it will ask you what program you want to use. All you do is you go to the to the application. And you'll see it says SSP imported successfully which means now it's in the game. It's been imported to the to the pool of Super Souls in the game. You close that, whatever, you close out all that. Then you launch your game. I'm sorry I closed Steam, guys. 
it does this when it does this when you don't launch the game after you've opened Steam, sorry. So let's just wait for it to load. All you've seen at the top there is just my sh my shader I use to make the graphics look like Xenoverse 3. Skip all that, you skip all that, skip all that, you skip that, skip, skip, skip. Start your game as normal. You choose your custom CAC. Just let it all load up. I'll make a more in-depth tutorial on the Super Soul Editor, but this is just like if you want to know the basics and be able to make yourself stronger and all that stuff. I'll show you guys eventually how to how to become stronger as you transform, how your health has to increase at each stage and all that stuff. I'll make a tutorial on that one day. Okay, all you do now is you go to customize, change your equipment, and it should already be in the pool. So you go Super Soul. Hold on, that might be it. Okay, new Super Soul, I think that's it. Just make sure that's it. Look like that might be it. Okay, if if it's there, you shouldn't have to um, go to the anywhere else to get it. You can simply just press end. You see, you see how overpowered I am. Let's just click on that one. But if it doesn't come up, you can also find it here. You should be able to find it here. Let's see if. There it is. So all you go, best thing to do I would say is just go to the item shop, go to the Super Soul section, the Super Soul tab, go My Super Souls and you can just buy it. And then it should display the name now if I choose it. If not, it doesn't really matter, it works. It's not gonna mess up or anything. Look, it's there, it displays the name. You click on that and you'll see, okay, that's the actual one. The one we saw before was my previous Super Soul I made. This is the one we've just created. As you can see, it's OP like crazy. I don't recommend you make it like in the hundreds because just it's just gonna be too much. And I think there's a cap on how strong you can actually be. If you make like the attack, basic attack like a hundred, you just you one shot everything. <laughs> okay, as you can see, it works. It's all good. Like you can select it if you fight. We'll see how. Let's just go photo mode so I can show you that the health. You'll see the health has been increased like crazy it doesn't matter who let's just go to all tournament stage as you guys can see it's fairly simple it's not very complicated at all I'm going to show you a little bit more advanced thing after this as well I'm going to show you that you can actually change the characters in the game the roster characters you can actually make them um, stronger as well and you can also you can change the health so if, if you feel like you're too overpowered for an enemy, okay, obviously my health is going to be grey because he can't do any damage to me. The same, you see he's firing at me, it's like I've l lost no health. The game can't pick up, the game can't pick up how much health I've actually got left. As you can tell, like I can't lose any health no matter how many attacks he does. I will lose health if he did this for like ages, um, I would eventually lose health. Okay, so what you could go now, you see that works, so you can make your own Super Soul mode, it's that simple. What you do now is if you want to change the actual characters within the game's health, this is what you have to do. As you can tell, I've already done some of the characters, so we'll pick one I haven't done. Let's choose, just say you want Goku GT, right? First what you do is, press X or just to view the the skills and stuff you've got if you're playing on control, I'm not sure what button that is. And look at what the Super Soul says, it says, everyone lend me your energy. Okay, you minimize the game. This is the easiest method that it, to do this. You open this, the Super Soul when you download it. I already forgot what it said, sorry guys. <laughs> everyone lend me your energy, okay. Sorry, it's just the shader makes the thing go crazy. Every, you just put every, 
and we'll find every single okay it's that one there so you see that 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 could be tied to goku gt yeah and the basic details exactly the same thing you wanna you could add effects if you really wanted to but i recommend you just let them have their normal stuff and then i could go let's say we want his max health to be 20. okay we'll just do the health because it doesn't i'm not going to actually play with the character i'm just going to show you that the stats and how you change it you see the max health is there and all you do now from there you just click save that's it nothing else and then close make sure you close the game and reopen it don't edit it and then go back into the game it won't work you need to reopen the game again so that it loads up what you've just done let's get the shade the shade is just loading i need to update it as well <laughs> Keep, make sure if you use a reshader, always keep the reshader up to date because they change the effects and stuff so it looks obviously correct. Let's skip all this, skip all this. This is a fairly simple tutorial, guys. It's very easy to do. I figured it out the first time I tried. See, did you notice my stats there when you saw it? It was exactly the same as when we, what the Super Soul we created. And now what you should see is that Goku GT, Kid Goku, will have a lot of health, which will basically line him up with the cat, with your Super Soul we just created. So he should be pretty much the same strength. Well, I wouldn't say strength, let's say durability because it's his health, as you are. You've got offline battles, whatever, doesn't matter you what you choose. And go to, go to him, and as you can tell, look at his health, it's like, can't even register on the screen so his health is now really high and it's the same if you change this exactly how you create your own super soul if you change the things i told you to change you can change the attack the stamina the key the blast and the strikes but make sure the, f the first part of this tutorial when we started that you copy what i did there only change the things i changed if you change all the stuff you could mess up everything for yourself but as you can tell he's there let's just jump it jump in the game so you can actually see that his, his health bar will also be completely greyed out because the game can't register um, his health and stuff because it's just too much. Kiki Goku. And he's, can you see his health is grey there? Which means it won't affect your movesets or anything stupid like that. Also note that you can do it with modded characters as well, but not all modded characters have super souls. I'm gonna figure out how to um, apply super souls to modded characters that I've installed from other people, and then I'll make a tutorial on how to do that so you can actually change the stats of your modded, modded characters that you download. Because some, some of them, you can do it. I have done a few of them, because they have a super soul already applied to them. So yeah, all right. After all that's all good, you're all sweet, it will all work perfectly. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, it's just a quick one, and I hope you guys get it right, because I'm pretty sure you will, because it's pretty simple. All best of luck to you guys, have a great night, Hey, Destruction out.